At the crossroads of Central and Eastern Europe sits the nation of Serbia. Formerly a part of Yugoslavia, it's home to seven million people. And today, it's a country striving to move beyond its war-torn past. Along the way, an unlikely identity has emerged. Serbia is a tennis hotbed. All around the country, tennis clubs are filled with young hopefuls who dream about emulating the three Serbs currently ranked in the top ten. Novak Djokovic, Anna Ivanovic, and this woman, Jelena Jankovic. It's in the water, you know, we're all tall, we're all, you know, very hungry to win, strong winning mentality, and we all want to be the best. <laughs> Jankovic was once just like these youngsters. She first picked up a racket at age nine. But her journey from amateur to national hero has taken her around the world and has been over a decade in the making. When she was 12, she fled political unrest in Serbia and moved to Bradenton, Florida to train at Nick Boletari's famed tennis academy. I was uh, you know, a great ambassador for the country because uh, when I just arrived in, in the U.S., I, you know, when I said I came from Serbia, nobody ever knew where was that. They didn't know it was, if it was in Europe, in Asia, in <laughs> wherever. However, as Jankovic embarked on her pro career, she certainly helped put Serbia on the tennis map with her defensive prowess and a flair for the dramatic. Ever the performer, Jankovic seemed at home in New York City last year when she advanced to the finals of the U.S. Open against Serena Williams. I love playing in New York. Just the whole atmosphere when you're playing at the U.S. Open and um, you know the vibe that you feel over there, it's, it's amazing. The tremendous defensive talent of this woman, Yelena Jankovic. While she challenged Serena at times, ultimately, Jankovic went down in two hard-fought sets. But in the days to follow, disappointment would transform into resolve, as Jankovic looked towards the end of the season and realized that the number one ranking was within her grasp. It was autumn, you know, and not many tournaments left to play. And my coach told me, you have to win three tournaments. And I said, you know, it's, it's very, very difficult to do that. First up was the China Open, then the Stuttgart Grand Prix, and finally the Kremlin Cup. Three weeks, three tournaments, and three titles later, Jankovic had secured the number one ranking as 2008 came to a close. When I won the third one, you know, we all cried. If you ask any player, everybody wants to, to be number one and be the best player in the world. So, and I have done that, so I'm proud of that, really. Serbia's pride in her was evident this past February when Jankovic returned to her birthplace. Yelena, 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 Yelena. It seemed the whole country turned out for the rare opportunity to see her and Anna Ivanovic play for Serbia in a Fed Cup match. <laughs> Although her homecoming was successful, her visit was brief. Jankovic had to leave the next day in search of something she recently lost. As a few weeks earlier, Serena Williams had taken the number one ranking away from her. I want my number one ranking back. It has been you know, a great journey so far, and I have come a long way. 